delicious. Christmas ASMR. Take one. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the video. Today, we're going to be doing some classic ASMR. Hmm? It's been a while. I've done them in the past, like this video and this video. Maybe 2023 will be the year of more now, some of you may know Jocelyn. Jocelyn is my assistant and helps me make videos. Do I need to swap back and forth? Do people like that? Jocelyn was like, you should do more ASMR stuff because it's fun. And I said, okay. And so Jocelyn got me this. People do that, right? <laughs> I don't know what this is. This is National Geographic's Dino Fossil Dig Kit. Hmm? Let's take a look at what's inside here. Now look at this packaging. Huh? Something truly wonderful to behold, isn't it? In here we get to excavate a T-Rex tooth replica. Also, in the collector's corner, we've got genuine dino poop specimen inside. So that's pretty good for me. Please hold. I have to get a knife. <laughs> this isn't going to open a box. <laughs> ah, here we go. Mm. Now let's cut open these seams up here, huh? Also, you might be wondering, Ethan, why is this a Christmas ASMR thing? The contents of this box don't have anything to do with Christmas. There was another setup that we had for this video and Jocelyn was like, It's too sterile. <laughs> and I guess Jocelyn just runs the fucking channel now. So I had to change it up and she said, You should put something more cozy on. And I said, Fine. <laughs> And then I put on these Game Grumps pajamas that you can get at GameGrumps.com slash merch. And then I said, I have a Christmas hat. Maybe it'll be more Christmassy. And then Jocelyn was like, yeah, I guess it's fine. That's what Jocelyn sounds like. Mm. Nothing more inside the box. Now we've got our instructions and learning guide. So... magnifying glass. We've got a little tool here. I can use that to excavate your little ears if you've got too much earwax. Oh, we've got a brush. guy here that we're going to excavate. Now we'll see what's inside. There should be a genuine dino bone. And the last thing is our dinosaur poop that we have here. Uh, make sure to get a nice, nice close-up on that dino poop. And you know what's great about this dino poop is that they have a little stand so you can just set it up right there. Isn't this nice? So, we've got to get this guy open. Now 
Now you want to be careful not to uh, ruin the dino bones in there. So be very careful when getting this out. in here. Oh, that's very nice. And we've got our nice magnifying glass, so we can really look at these bones. Now it's time to start the excavation process. I don't know how I'm supposed to do this. Oh, would you look at that, huh? They've been hiding cocaine in children's excavation toys for years. Wow. It's very important when excavating when excavating dino DNA that you wanna try and get out as much of the bones as possible without destroying the actual fossils inside. can't quite tell yet, but I think we're starting to make a little bit of progress here. It is the holiday season, and while I'm excavating this tooth, let me tell you a little story. Now, long ago, back when Santa first went into business, you know, there's so many people that tell the story of... I think we have the first glance at the tooth, this guy. Now that is a Christmas miracle. People always talk about Santa and his reindeer, but what they don't talk about was the experiments that Santa was running in his lab with his elves. Now, before they found the reindeer, you know, they tried dogs, they tried horses, they tried many things. And one of the things that Santa and his elves tried to do was reanimate prehistoric creatures. We all know that one of the fastest creatures of the prehistoric time was the Velociraptor, okay? And just like in the movie Jurassic Park, Santa had himself a nice little piece of amber with a prehistoric mosquito in it. And so Santa brought it to his best elf scientists and they did successfully bring back to life not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, not six, not seven, sixteen dinosaurs, velociraptors. They successfully brought them back. They didn't know what they were doing. Jurassic Park wouldn't come out for at least another ten years. So they didn't know what could happen. You know, they didn't have that warning that we all now have because of Jurassic Park and Jeff Goldblum. And so Santa, as naive as he was, and you know, you can't bash him for that, but he took out these velociraptors and he said, dash away, dash away, dash away all, as he does. And the velociraptors, they lasted a few good Christmases. Santa gained their trust, the elves gained their trust, but at the end of the day, a velociraptor and dinos in general are animals. And what are animals? They're wild, you know? Not like our domesticated dogs and cats today. These these guys are wild and they have instincts that they will follow because at the end of the day, it's all about survival. The velociraptors, at one point, they get hungry. And you can only feed a velociraptor Christmas cookies and eggnog for so long. They need meat. They thirst for it, you know? It's, they're carnivores through and through, and when you give them too much sugar, they start to get indigestion, and it's very bad for them, okay? And so, one by one, the velociraptors started to get a little out of control. Dozens of elves were consumed, 
on Christmas Eve by the Velociraptors. And you know, who could blame them? But once the blood was spilt, and once that thirst started to get quenched, there was nothing holding them back. And so they feasted that night, that Christmas Eve, back in 1985. They feasted on elves the entire night until the sun rose. And then finally Santa realized the deed that he had done. He realized the error that he made. And so, just like they did in Old Yeller, Santa had to bring the velociraptors round back one by one, taking a bullet, much like these, and putting them through the skulls of each and every velociraptor that previously pulled the sleigh. And that is how Santa Claus learned that life finds a way. I don't know one if I've ever seen one. Here we are. The beautiful T-Rex bone. It traveled so many miles up, down, and around Pangaea until all of our great nations were separated by the Atlantic and the Pacific. Because back then, it was just one big osh. And after, I'm sure, seeing the horrors of what Santa did, it perished. And now it's here, in my hands. And now I can use this wonderful dino bone to continue to spread not only the story, but the spirit of Christmas, though. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. I hope that you have a wonderful holiday. And I'll see you all very soon, alright?